Okay, everybody, well, welcome back to Blue Dragon, and today's session of Blue Dragon is going to be focused primarily on side content. You're going to see what I mean in a minute. What we got to do is get to the desert. I was actually grinding last night, so you're going to see here that, uh, you're going to see here that we, uh, hold on a second. I'm actually going to assign a skill to shoot. Oh, he has it assigned. Okay. Shu got Field Barrier 3 last night when I was grinding. What this allows you to do is instant kill any enemy. Uh, and it only costs, I think, like 5 MP when you kill them. So we're going to be able to just rush right through this straight to the desert. And then what's, what happens now in Blue Dragon is the game really opens up. And there is a lot of side content in this game. Now, right now, as soon as we get to this next part, as you're about to see... Oh, I couldn't fucking instant kill this guy. That's bullshit. So we got to fight him. All right. But, uh, once we get to this desert, you're going to see the game will significantly open up and we'll be able to do some optional stuff. Kill these assholes quickly. Watch this. Oh! Defeat that bitch. Get to the desert. Hurry up. Fucking stupid assholes chasing me. Yeah, so I did some grinding, as you can see. Uh, I'm now level... Almost everyone's level 55. Most of our, our classes are maxed out now. Who do we want? Let's do Kluke. Let's have Kluke run around. Here we go. She's the Klukester. The Klukester. Alright, so you'll see here, all we have to do to engage a cutscene is run up to one of these spires. These giant glass spires, like this one right here. Here we go. Oh, it's a big boner. <laughs> a big glassy boner. They're way too big for land sharks. What's that? It's a mech cat. Oh. Kill it! Shoot it down! Flaris, quickly! Window! Windus! Surprise if it's Nene. It's Nene. Destroy it. Destroy the mech cat. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, we killed her. Zola. Lady Zola. Oh, yeah. You all right? Oh, Lady Zola. Mara, so glad you're okay. Oh. Didn't think I'd see you again. What happened since we saw you? I had a really hard time finishing off Zabo. And when I finally defeated him and tried to get to you, Nene's fortress began to bury itself underground. I was looking everywhere for you guys when I came across this hangar. And that's where I got the idea to borrow this mech at. Hmm. That's Milo's Lady Zola! Uh. As I was flying away, I looked down and saw all of you. Hmm. I saw Nene holding you captive <clears throat> and stealing your spheres of light. But no, because I'm a huge bitch. I'm sorry. I couldn't get near the fortress. <sighs> yeah, right. I don't I believe her. those spheres were a source of magic. I assumed you wouldn't be able to use magic after that, but you're still using your shadows. We couldn't use magic for a while after we lost the spheres, but we can now. How can you? Well, you see, we felt that we couldn't let Nene get away with everything. While we were separated, we went to other villages, in all these places, Nene did terrible things to the people. 
We had to stop them. We had to save everybody. We wanted strength. And all that made me feel so... Yaga! So Yaga! We couldn't hold our anger back. <laughs> and then everyone's magic returned. I see, so anger causes magic. Good. Anger is good. That the ancients referred to magic as the light that lies within oneself. Oneself? The light? The light that is born from the emotions of the heart is like a newborn baby. It just struggles and cries out. But if one can control it, that infant power can be a tremendous power. It is a basic truth of this world that there can be no shadow without light. If the light within you casts a sinister shadow, you must defeat it and turn it into a pure light. Why didn't you tell us all this if before? The light and shadow become as one. Problem. Only then can you draw upon its infinite power. Hmm. That's so confusing, Lady Zola. That's fucking stupid, Lady Zola. I really understand the reasons <laughs> why, but when we got our shadows back, we just seemed to instinctively know that we had to control them. And we defeated them. Instinct. I see. Marumaro? Your shadow is very cool. Really? Really? Truly? Yes. <laughs> Let's fight again together. Can you lean over a little bit more so I get a better shot of something? You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a happy guy. Yes, now he'll be unstoppable. Oh my god. I thought you were just a cold mercenary, but you do have a warm heart too. Uh, dance! Dance! Uh, wait! Dancing's not my thing. Well, hold on, I can't dance. I can't dance either. Ah! The light within you. Perhaps nurturing Nene's soul helped them all to realize what that was. Yes. Let's talk about metaphysics and Xenu now. So, uh, it all makes sense. Going. Dancing is more tiring <laughs> than fighting. <clears throat> you said that Nene's fortress had burrowed into the earth? Correct. Into the Mekat. We'll track him down. Gotcha! All right. So... We get to the Mechat. Now, the cool thing is that we are now completely free to do whatever we want in the world. Alright? So if you press A, you land. we see what we're doing. We're flying around. What we need to do is do some optional shit because there's a ton of optional stuff in this game. Now, we could beat it right now if we wanted to, but I don't think we should. Now, I'm trying to remember, I think one of the points is actually right here where I am, but I don't remember how to access it. Is that one of these spires? I don't remember. It's been too long since I played this. Yeah, I think the town, there's a secret town over here. Oh, shit. Oh, cutscene. The spires are moving, right? I think I remember this. Did they just move? Uh, they couldn't have. Hey, it really does look like they're moving. They're giant land sharks! Oh shit! <clears throat> Look at this!
Aha, so now the dots show up. God damn it. <laughs> so it was gonna happen anyway. Alright, so... Yes, the dots are optional areas. And that we should probably check out. Reactivated ancient machines. First thing I should do is save. You can't save when you're flying, huh? Getting around in the mech hat. Press A lands. You cannot land the mech hat in a location where the compass is red. Fly by an area where you can land, press A. Alright. There's a roadmap map to check your location. If you initiate a warp, your mech hat will warp with you. Gotcha. So I'm assuming this one's already, we already explored it. What's down here? There's a chest here. How can I land here? Land! Oh shit, look at this. An optional boss. Let's save quickly. Alright, it's time for optional content. Here we go. 